What's going on YouTube? How's everybody today? What's going on guys? <clears throat> so today I want to do something a little a little bit different. Uh, like this isn't so much about the album I have here, but more about the, the label and the series that's going on. This album is just a 10 minute song by a, a band called White Magic called New Egypt. And it was released on Southern Records in 2008, but it's released on this series they're doing called the Latitude Series. And what that is, is the guys at the label, the label heads. Uh, first of all, Southern, is, uh, Southern Records is based out of London in Europe. And what Latitudes is, they just try to wrangle in some of their favorite recording artists and favorite bands, like whenever they're in town, and just try to bring them to their studio and just like put them in this vice and just try to squeeze all this like improv, spontaneous, uh, super creative kind of magic gold out of these weird bands and stuff. Uh, White Magic is a band based out of Brooklyn, New York, and they're uh, described as uh, avant folk music. They just make this kind of psychedelic, folky, indie rock kind of shit. I have their album, their, their blue album, I forget what it's called, it has some messed up title, I'll probably put an annotation up, but it wasn't all that great, I didn't really like it that much. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of bands on this Latitude series that I think you guys might be interested in checking out, because there's Grails is on there, uh, Bodof Songs, which is a cranky artist, there's Sir Richard Bishop, Ariel's Pink, uh, Blood and Time, which is uh, two members of Neurosis, a little side project, and then there's another one called... Uh, uh, the Fallen Black Deer, which has members of Red Sparrows and A Storm of Light. And there's also uh, Paradise Island, William Elliot Whitmore's on here, Shit and Shine, Circles, a whole bunch. I'll post a whole link of it, and I'll put a link to the uh, actual website. But yeah, they all come in these gold little cardboard packages with cool designs. Some of them are black, but they're all really shiny. And they're just all limited edition. This one was a limited edition out of a thousand, I got the 683rd. Uh, and what's going on in this song is just pretty much, uh, it's just a 10 minute plus song. It starts off with this like three, uh, three, uh, three chord uh, piano riff and they just kind of build over it. But it all has this very jammed, uh, improv, spontaneous feel to it. Like this song's very kind of, has Eastern, like East, I don't know, Middle East kind of sounds on it. I don't know what kind of <laughs> Middle Eastern vibes and stuff like that. It has gongs and triangles and like like weird kind of clarinet sounds and stuff like that. It's a very crazy, very unique song. Like stuff that you wouldn't normally expect from these kind of bands or you'd hear on their albums. Because what these guys do is they just have such a limited amount of time and the guys at Southern just like let them have a free reign of their studio and just like let their creative energy flow and do all this improv, spontaneous music. And it's all pretty cool. Like the packaging's pretty nice. It just opens up on the back, kind of like a puzzle. Comes with a little picture, this one did anyway. White magic in the studio. It just has like a little bit of information on the back, and a little spiel by the... Who is this guy? Southern Records. Probably like a record label founder, one of the record heads. He's talking about what it was like in the studio, and what, how, why she likes white magic, how she became a fan of them, and like... Uh, how she left one of their shows, I left it with a glowing feeling of innocence and darkness. Like when you're a kid and you're digging around in your garden with the worms and the wood lice and you come across a small animal skull and it's not frightening or horrible, but intriguing and beautiful. When White Magic came back into town, I couldn't let them leave without recording a session for Southern's Latitudes imprint and thankfully they accepted my invitation. So yeah, it's pretty cool what they make these bands do. Bring them to their studio and just show them all this like musical equipment and say, hey, can you just do some improv crazy music? See what you can do. And just, you know, let them fly by the seat of their pants. Pretty cool. I really like it. I thought you guys might appreciate this Latitude series that's going out. I'll post links and all that. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, White Magic, New Egypt, Southern Records, 2008.